awesome. So hacking down branches and things like that in the wilderness, awesome. All right, guys, how's it going? My name is Sias, this is Task Force Vlogs. Welcome to the video. We've got an unboxing today. So you can see on here, this is the bug out. So, you know, a bug out bag, a prepper's bag, uh, something like that, so bug out equipment. It's just like survival things. Um, so it's totally random. It's a mystery box. So it's a bug out mystery box. It's, I don't even know what's going to have in it. It could have guides to survival, it could have MREs, it could have um, knives, uh, belts, clothing, whatever you like. So this is pretty cool. This is already my survival knife here. It's got a um, the fire steel in the front there and it's, it's a bit of a beast. So we're just gonna go into the box now. I'll link the uh, description below if you wanted to check out the website. This is UK, um, so www thebugout.co.uk, not sponsored, nothing, bought it myself. We've done another one on the channel as well, which is a prepper's box. So let's not destroy everything inside. Okay, there's a box in a box. So uh, on top of this, we needed a machete, obviously, everyone needs a machete. So we've, uh, we've got one in here as well. So we've got the actual mystery box and a machete, like unveiling. So. My details, bug out mystery box is a 30 pounds, great British pounds in there, and uh, the machete as well. Oh, okay, so this is a haku uh, machete, warning, extremely sharp, case uh, for storage only and not intended uh, as protection. So we will open that in a minute and have a look at that. Now this is the 30 pounds Survival box, so they do have other options on there, other money on there, like you can go for a higher one, 50, 80, 100 pounds, whatever, and they do a full bug out barrel, which is a massive blue like water barrel, and uh, just full of stuff, anywhere from like 100 pounds to 400 pounds with weeks of food in there and stuff, which is uh, pretty cool. Now we've just been out and built a survival shelter as well, so you should check that out on the channel, because I have loads of survival stuff and we've been going out and doing stuff. <laughs> Oh cool, we actually got a knife in here too. So this is just 30 pounds, so it's 30 pounds or whatever. So we've got an Elite Firestarter Black. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna have a play with these in a minute. We'll get everything out of the box. Awesome, power cord, always need power cord. The survival shelter I built the other day, which is on the channel, I used power cord, uh, a Swiss army knife, and um, one of those military fold up shovels, that's it. And we made a pretty sick shelter. Look at this thing, stainless steel, rosewood handle, a locking blade. Wow, with a really nice um, case for it as well. That is actually awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm really extremely happy with this actually. You can actually carry that around if it's 3.5 inches, which I think it is. Looks probably about three inches. We'll, um, we can carry that around with us. UK legal. Um, oh, okay. So it goes all the way through. So this is um, a scarf or something like that. So we can wear it as a scarf, a shemag, put it up, hood, uh, anything like that sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. It feels really warm, fleecy material. Uh, we've got a six inch glow stick there. I've actually got a pack of glow sticks anyway. You can drop them into a hole, see how far it goes down, or just have one off your back to identify where your friends are and stuff at night camping and things like that. So that's pretty sick. Um, it's a bottle opener. <laughs> We're gonna have a little closer look, a more in-depth look in a second. Let's just get everything out of the box. And right here, guys, whoa. Adventure Nutrition Pack and Go. This is Mexican Chili Con Carne. I reckon that is gonna be a spicy boy. So, wow. Uh, 36.7 grams of protein in there, nearly 40 grams and one gram of salt. Um, you just open it up and it's got a fill level there and tells you how to do it. Rip it open, pour hot water in, give it a stir and ready to eat. Right, let's get rid of that. So, scarf thing, survival knife, MRE, glow stick, paracord, bottle opener and a fire starter. That is a pretty cool kit for £30. Let's bring you over for a closer look. Here's a closer look guys, that's the adventurous chili con carne. I'll tell you what, I've got food for days. This is all my survival stuff. <laughs> this is where we keep uh, cookers, pots and pans, you know, just everything. So that can go in there. We'll have that one day. 
Uh, I'm intrigued to have a look at this Elite Firestarter kit. So let's have a look at this. So Combat Elite Firestarter Black. It's got some instructions in there as well. Okay, so this is the Firestarter. Um, you just attach it to your keys or anything. And then it comes off like that. And that comes off like that as well. So. Aha, see? So that's pretty sweet. I can literally just clip this to my bag. If you see the one with the FBI on it, it's got so much stuff hanging off it. This will be a good addition. So, fire starter there. Um, cool, like I said, we've got literally glow sticks sat there on top of the fridge with the lantern and stuff, like lighting equipment. So we'll keep this in the packet. We'll put this with the rest. Right, paracord. Yeah, tons of this stuff, it's good to have a spare, so we'll chuck that in the box of spare stuff. Um, if we go into the top of my survival bag, I have a big uh, 30 meters long thing of paracord always in there. Now this is pretty cool, and um, this will keep you warm as well, so now it's getting into the autumn winter months. Uh, that's a really nice material, like a fleecy jumper material. That's pretty damn nice. Right, and what I've been most excited for actually, well, we've got the bottle opener there as well, we can actually clean that off there, so I don't know if you'll be taking beer or something with you maybe camping, why not? So this, Jack Pike of England, stainless steel, rosewood handle, locking blade, leather sheath, let's have a look. Alright, so we've got the awesome leather case there um, that just clips to your belt, so that's a pretty cool case. That's proper thick and sturdy and then we've got this thing here look nice engraved handle there and the actual blade itself and that feels real real sharp that's cool as hell you push push the button down at the back there and it folds away nice and then you pop it in the case that is actually awesome I think this is going to be my EDC knife my everyday carry knife so I'm just gonna just wear that on my belt all the time. You never know when you need it. So that is really nice. I'm actually happy about that. All right, guys, as a bonus, we've got our machete as well. So much stuff now. <laughs> I'll be doing more of these unboxes as well, so make sure you liked and subscribed. Uh, let's test this out now. I'm actually well impressed with this knife. Jack Pike of England, does anyone know of this make? And it's, the thing is, it's a survival knife because you have the thing all the way through the handle, which is what you want. If it's just at there and the handle's separate, they're rubbish because when you're putting stuff into the ground, you want to hit it at the top there, or you want to split wood and you can hit it with a hammer all the way down. It won't damage the knife because it's steel all the way through, which is sick. That's really awesome, really sharp, good piece of equipment. Nice, like it. All right, baby. This is big boy. <laughs> so I've always wanted like a Kukri style knife. This is like a Kukri style machete. And there it is, wrapped up. Wow, that's a hefty boy too. <laughs> oh baby, look at this bad boy. It's got real good weight to the blade. He's very heavy there. Good solid handle, which is what you want. A bit there so you can clip it to something. But a real solid blade. It says extremely sharp on the cover there. So I've got my own Kukri sort of blade machete there. Um which is awesome. So hacking down branches and things like that in the wilderness. Awesome. So there you have it guys. Absolutely awesome load of kit there. I'll lay it all out and uh, I'll show you. So that is everything that we managed to get for the uh, unboxing there, which is pretty awesome. I'm very happy with this blade actually as an everyday carry. That's probably the best everyday carry I've got because I can't be really walking around with that thing. So, um, 
Yeah, awesome. Obviously that that was separate, so yeah, can't complain. Pretty good. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unboxings, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.